and a very, very, very pleasant good afternoon. Hope you're having an outstanding Monday in your neck of the woods. And honestly, not too shabby for the 25th day of November. Got a little bit of a breeze outside, but we have a nice mixture of sunshine and some high clouds overhead. And with that southerly breeze, it has pushed in some milder temperatures. So we're seeing numbers running in the low 50s this afternoon. And there is more warm weather on the way, but there's also looks like some wet weather on the way if you're going to be traveling the middle part of the week. Good Monday afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this Monday afternoon edition of Whiteboard Weather. I thought I'd go outside and get the stink blown off me a little bit. <laughs> it's one of those kind of days. Uh, just a real pleasant um, November afternoon, uh, all things considered. Let me shut the door so we can get some privacy in here. All right, there we go. Uh, hope you're having, as I said, a great day today. A short work week uh, today is technically Monday, but it is acting like a Wednesday for many of us um, with the shortened work week. And each and every Monday afternoon, we are brought to you by Dante's Pizzeria. You've heard me talk about them before. <clears throat> Maybe you haven't visited Dante's Pizzeria, but if you're going to be out over the course of the next few weeks, maybe shopping in the South Hills, this is the place you're going to want to pop into your Apple Maps or your GPS. Visit Dante's Pizzeria. They're located right across from the South Park Golf Course, and they're ready and waiting for you. This is the day that Simply Delicious Dante's Pizzeria meets Simply Accurate. That is whiteboard weather, and uh, you can... Reach Dante's online at Dante'sPizzeria.com. Not only do they have pizza at Dante's, which is obviously what they're well known for, they have many other menu selections at Dante's. They have things like salads. They have delicious pasta. They have delicious calzones, as well as hoagies. You can check out their full menu, again, online at Dante's. Pizzeria.com. Everything is handmade. The dough is hand tossed. The meatballs are made from scratch. It's fresh made pizza sauce, all with the use of local vendors for all the ingredients. So uh, you're doing the Pittsburgh area solid when you visit Dante's with all local ingredients or vendors for those ingredients for all of the delicious food you can eat in or carry out. At Dante's Pizzeria, you can download the app in the Apple Store. They got one of those or in the Google Play Store, and they have a loyalty program for pizzas as well as lunches. They have lunch specials at Dante's, <clears throat> excuse me, as well. So visit my fine friends at Dante's Pizzeria. Simply delicious meats. Simply accurate. Nice to have the back door open. <clears throat> this afternoon uh, with those temperatures warming into the 50s but again there are some changes on the horizon uh, which will be impacting some of us if they're going to be if you're going to be out and about on Wednesday um, from the comments it looks like I have to do this again uh, unfortunately there are people that are having difficulty hearing my voice, so I do this just for you. If you can't hear me, it's not me, it's you. <laughs> Reset your device. There you go, that is your 10 second public service announcement. So, we're off and running there. All right, let's run down some birthdays today and then we'll get into the weather information for today. Uh, born on this day, you got Christina Applegate, uh, JFK Jr. before his passing, celebrated on this day. Uh, Jenna Bush Hager, the former first daughter, now contributor to the Today Show. <coughs> the Yankee Clipper, Joe DiMaggio, celebrated his birthday on this day, as did before his passing, Ricardo Monteblan. 
Do you remember Ricardo Montalban from Fantasy Island? Welcome to Fantasy Island. That guy celebrated his birthday on this day. The hot dog eating fiend Joey Chestnut. Um, Andrew Carnegie or Carnegie. If uh, you're from the New York area, it's Carnegie Hall, but Andrew Carnegie in Pittsburgh, <coughs> excuse me, celebrated his birthday on this day. And if you're a fan of the show, um, Dancing with the Stars, uh, one of the judges, Bruno uh, Tanioli, I think that's how you say it, he has a birthday today. It's National Parfait Day today, National Shopping Reminder Day today, and National Play Day with Dad today. So, there you go. Go. Let us get to some weather information. Let's break it all down for you so you know what to expect and when without any of the hype, without any of the hysteria or hysterics. This is no hype. It's simply accurate. This is a forecast, not a fear cast. There we go. Out the door right now. If you're headed outside anytime soon, it is 52 degrees, a southwest wind at 12 miles an hour. And again, we are sponsored by Dante's Pizzeria. There's the address, the phone number, and the online address for Dante's Pizzeria. I should mention today at Dante's, they have their Monday special, two large pizzas, one regular topping each for $24. What a deal for delicious pizza. Here's a look at your temperatures across the area. <clears throat> 49, Franklin, Newcastle, is it 53? It's also 53 in Beaver Falls, 52 in Pittsburgh, Indiana, and 53 in Washington. Let me show you the weather information, the maps. Let's start with those. Quiet outside this evening. You'll notice this little system back to the west, but here is where our next piece of energy is coming from. Back near the Four Corners area. As we move ahead through the time steps, watch what happens to this area of low pressure, how it tracks and ejects across the northeastern part of the country. Let's move ahead to Tuesday morning. You can see the front is still back to the west. It's not going anywhere until this low kind of makes this turn up toward the Great Lakes. You can see that low that was here tonight will be near the Texas Panhandle tomorrow morning. Now, Tuesday evening, here comes your low, starting to make that turn toward the north. It went from here to here to here. Now it's going to pick up some forward speed as we head into Wednesday morning. You'll notice a very large scale system. You have snow on the back side, rain on the front side, and here's your warm sector of air. This is where we'll be tomorrow and into the day on Wednesday. We'll be in this mild sector of air, southerly flow. So despite the arrival of some wet weather, it's going to be warm. That's the good. Here's Wednesday morning. That low is now north of Chicago. We're still in this warm sector of air, but take note of these isobars. I talked about these in previous whiteboard weather segments. These are lines of equal pressure. The tighter pack they are, the higher the winds will be. So when you wake up Wednesday morning, which is what this snapshot is, it will be wet and windy outside, but it also will be warm. The three W Wednesday, or probably as the day goes on, we'll call it winds day because of those gusty winds. I expect we'll see wind gusts Wednesday probably around 40 miles an hour. So if you have decorated or will be decorating tomorrow, make sure everything is tied down and secured properly. Otherwise, you may lose a blow up or some type of lawn ornament down the street with those gusty winds on Wednesday, but again, it's going to be all rain, not going to rain all day, scattered showers, but I think the main headline will be the gusty winds. Now, let us move into Thanksgiving morning. This is about nine o'clock Thanksgiving morning. You'll notice that low is now racing away, still going to be brisk winds, but the precipitation will be gone. High pressure builds in. If you have a turkey bowl or turkey trot, it's going to be brisk and chilly. Thanksgiving morning, but as the day wears on, I expect we'll see the skies brightening up and the winds lightening up as well. So that is a look at your weather maps. Now, let's break it down for you in very simplistic terms. Simply accurate. That's how we roll here. Sponsored 
by Dante's Pizzeria. You'll see them on the whiteboard as well. Their online home, DantesPizzeria.com. Again, they're located across from the South Park Golf Course. Simply Delicious Dante's meets Simply Accurate whiteboard weather. There you go. All right, here's the breakdown. Sunset tonight, 456. Comes up tomorrow, 718. If you're traveling on Wednesday, whether it be local travel or maybe you're going to get on a plane, at least here in Pittsburgh, we're going to pick up about a quarter to a little over a third of an inch of rain. Again, I don't expect it's going to rain all day, but we'll see scattered showers. Sustained winds, 15 to 25, gusts of 35 to 40. I expect the National Weather Service will likely issue a wind advisory for Wednesday. If you have a turkey bowl or a turkey trot Thursday morning, cloudy and brisk. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s, but a little wind is probably going to add a little extra bite to the air on Thursday morning before the winds really die down Thursday afternoon. Tonight, partly cloudy, 39 degrees. Tomorrow, and I'm going to name every day this week. How's that? Because <laughs> it's pretty much what people are going to do. Tomorrow is put up your outdoor lights Tuesday, 57 with clouds and sunshine. Tomorrow night's turning cloudy. Showers won't arrive until after midnight, 45. On travel Wednesday or Wednesday, scattered showers. Look at that temperature, 60 degrees. That's the good. That's the bad. That's the ugly. We could do a little Clint Eastwood thing here if we wanted to. Gusty winds, as I mentioned, but it will be mild. Thanksgiving Day, 43 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. Hashtag everyone should give thanks on Black Friday. If you're a shopper, 45 degrees, partly sunny. And if you're a shopper or the significant other of a shopper, we'll call this I'm now in the poorhouse Saturday. <laughs> 47 degrees with rain showers returning the early part of the weekend. So there you go. That is your whiteboard for Monday brought to you by Dante's Pizzeria online at dantespizzeria.com. So that is the breakdown. I uh, would think that you shouldn't have any questions. I think I laid it out pretty straightforward, pretty simple, pretty thorough as I, as I often like to do. Um, so, uh, there you go. If you have any questions, type them in the comments and uh, I'll try and get to them. Um, Penn's play tonight against the Flames. Um, Mike asked, do you think December will look like November? You know what? I was actually looking at the long term today, Mike, and it looked like at least initially the first 10 days of the month, we're going to be near to below average with regards to temperatures. That's just a little bit of a, a preview snapshot of the first, say, week to 10 days of December. So, good question. I'll try and update you that uh, more as we get uh, down later in the week and early part of the month. Uh, yeah, no snow this week. Um, and I think we're looking good with no snow actually right through the weekend. Although, Saturday night, there is a chance we could see a few snow showers, but it's still too early to have a good handle on that. Uh, all right, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Send you on your way. There's no need for you to be sitting here watching me anymore. Get outside and get the stink blown off, you baby. It's a nice day. As always, please share Whiteboard Weather with your Facebook friends. The more you share, the greater our community becomes, the more people join, and the more friends we have in our simply accurate, no-hype weather community. It's all about forecasting, not Fear casting. Small business Saturday. There you go. That's another one. Yes, I like that. That it is small business Saturday, and then what's it? Cyber Monday. Uh, after I lose track of the days. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early at 7 a.m. Peace.